I wanted to do some research which could have an impact on the day-to-day -day lives of the sailors I worked with in the fleet. When I was deployed on a carrier, it was very common for aircraft to be accidentally run into each other, costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Every once in a while, a sailor would be injured in one of these mishaps. I hoped I could use my time here at AFIT to research technologies which the Navy could use to prevent these mishaps from happening. My goal was to research what I call a persistent monitoring system, which could be used on the flight deck of Navy aircraft carriers to prevent mishaps. Envision a computer system on the ship which is able to measure the location and orientation of every aircraft, item of support equipment, and sailor on the flight deck. If a computer can collect all of that information, it's fairly straightforward to have it monitor that data for potential mishaps. As an example, if two aircraft are being towed and are getting too close together, then this persistent monitoring system could issue a warning to the sailors involved, telling them to stop moving and resolve the conflict. When my advisor, Lieutenant Colonel Swinson, and I approached Dr. Raquette and the AFIT Advanced Navigation Technology Center with the idea, he immediately offered me precision GPS receivers to collect real data. It was only after researching into the equipment I'd be using that I found out these receivers are $20,000 each, and he was loaning me eight of them. Using these receivers, I was able to make precise measurements of how trained Navy personnel tow an aircraft from one spot to another. The aircraft was provided for the day by the commanding officer of my former squadron, the Blue Blasters of VFA-34. This enabled me to analyze not just the motion of the aircraft, but the motion of the personnel around it. I had two receivers strapped to the aircraft's wingtips, and each sailor wore an antenna on their head and carried a receiver in a small backpack. They told me afterwards that neither the antenna nor the backpack were difficult to work with. The Advanced Navigation Technology Center then made it possible for me to analyze the data using professional software which I would never have been able to afford on my own. Looking at this data, I was able to play back the aircraft being towed as well as the sailors around it. By examining this data, I was able to determine that a persistent monitoring system can be built with current technology and even make recommendations about how best to develop it.